We're joined here in the studio by Jose Belanger, member of Team Canada at the Women's World Cup. Jose, uh, an incredible performance by the team. First off, you scored you scored the goal that got Canada into the quarterfinals. How was that moment? Um, that was pretty amazing, especially to be able to score for our country. That's a good thing, but also to play in front of that many person that came to BC Place. Uh, yeah, that was, I think, on my celebration, we can see that I have a lot of emotions to share. Let's talk about Canada's support in the yeah. Women's World Cup. 2.8 million people watched the, the, that game on television. That's an enormous number. Uh, what do you think about the popularity of soccer now uh, in Canada? Yeah, one of our mission was to actually connect the country towards that World Cup. So I think that was a good part that we were able to play across Canada. So that was coast to coast. Uh, but for sure, we are a hockey country. Uh, so that was nice to see that actually there's interest for soccer. Because I think I read somewhere that for the um, Stanley Cup final, there were like 2.4 millions and then we got like 2.8. So I think that shows that soccer is getting more popular in, in Canada. A tremendous number, and for me, the most interesting thing about having you on the show is that there was a time where you didn't, didn't know you wanted to be on the team. Tell me about the decision process and why you chose to go on Team Canada. Yeah, I took a break. I got an injury like in 2011 before the last World Cup. Uh, it took a time, like a while to come back because I was hurt also like mentally from that um, but now the staff coaching changed and then they called me like for two years but I wasn't ready yet and I had a job in Sherbrooke in a soccer club and I think that moment where like I was coaching little girls and I, they were seeing me as a model but I thought I needed to be like a better model like the person that goes towards toward our goal and our dream so I think that's kind of why I decided to go back I guess I connected I connected back with my passion also for soccer and then also I think my boyfriend Rock Proto uh, <laughs> which encouraged me to also like push like follow my dream so and you end up in the World Cup you know Canada by many measures has a great performance obviously your goal how do you deal with going off such a high getting back into normal life that was weird the first couple of days uh, because like you said it was a high like we were like so into it we were like I don't know like that was like something special so coming back to the routine that was kind of weird and seeing other teams continuing to perform at the World Cup uh, but it's okay like now that we put everything in perspective uh, we see that we actually accomplished a lot of good things great things I think for the country and now I'm going towards doing some soccer clinics to continue that mission of inspire, inspiring uh, young kids and finally you know speaking of those clinics what do you think is the next step of inspiring Canadian soccer. Where does Canadian soccer go from here? Well, I think we showed a nice way to play soccer now, more modern, modern. so like position-wise. So mm -hmm. I think like um, more technical uh, clinics are gonna be key for those kids. Uh, and then, yeah, I think good things are next for Canada. Thank you so much, Jose, for join joining us and congratulations on your performance at the Women's World Cup. Thank you very much.